Today I'll demonstrate you how the Club 3D mini display port to HDMI 2 adapter works for connecting an Intel Skylake NAC to a 4K television. As you might know, the HDMI port in the Skylake NAC is only supporting HDMI 1.4, so it cannot be used for 4K at 60Hz refresh rate. However, the display port on the NUC does support 60Hz operation. As you can see, I'm running a Core i3 Skylake NAC that has an Intel HD Graphics 520 GPU. I've connected the NUC to a Samsung Ultra HD television and set the re resolution to 4K and the refresh rate is set to 60Hz. As you can see, it works, it works OK. And the television also displays the correct resolution and refresh rate. Next, I'll reboot the NUC into OpenELEC, which is a Linux distribution for media PCs. I've installed OpenELEC on an SD card that's inserted in the NUC, so I'll need to press F10 at boot and choose the SD memory card. It boots a bit slower than from a SSD drive, but it's still reasonably fast. OK, if we now go to the Kodi settings, you can see that the display resolution is set to 4K and the refresh rate is 60 Hz. Again, the TV displays the correct resolution. Now I've got some HEVC encoded video samples here. Let's first watch a HEVC encoded version of Big Buck Bunny at 60 frames per second. On this YouTube video the scrolling of the screen is slightly jerky, but in real life it's perfectly smooth. You can see that the television is still set to 4K at 60 Hz. The video statistics look good as well. 4K HEVC video at 60 frames per second and no drops or skips. Let's have a look at another video. This one is a rather high bitrate 4K video at 29.97 frames per second. We can see that the television has switched to 30p mode now. Note that the Samsung shows the 29.97 mode as 30p. As you can see the bitrate is almost 80 megabits per second and the CPU usage stays on a very low level as the Skylake GPUs have hardware acceleration for HEVC video decoding. And that's actually all I wanted to show you today. As a conclusion, the Club 3D Mini Display Port to HDMI 2 adapter offers a relatively inexpensive way to connect your Skylake NUC to a 4K HDMI 2 capable television. If you're interested in any of the products or, or OpenELEC, check out the links below and read my full review on nucblock.net. Thanks for watching.